Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a shocking development in a story that's been gripping Haiti and its diaspora around the world. The assassination of President Jovenel Moise in July 2021 sent shockwaves through the nation. And now, two years later, there are some major revelations. Imagine this. A Haitian judge has just formally indicted several high-profile figures, including Martine Moise, the widow of the late president. Yes, you heard that right. Martine Moise, along with former Prime Minister Claude Joseph and ex-police chief Leon Charles, is now facing charges that range from complicity to murder and conspiracy against the state. These charges are part of a detailed 122-page document that was recently leaked. Martine Moise has come out swinging, denying all the accusations and calling them baseless. She says this is just a broader campaign of persecution against her, but the indictment points to inconsistencies in her statements and alleges she conspired with Joseph to seize power after her husband's death. On the other hand, Joseph, who briefly held power post-assassination, has also slammed the charges, calling them politically motivated and orchestrated by the current Prime Minister, Ariel Henry. This is a significant twist in an investigation that has faced countless roadblocks, including the recusal of multiple judges due to safety concerns and allegations of political interference. Over 40 suspects are currently imprisoned, among them a group of Colombian mercenaries. Yet, the mastermind behind the president's murder remains elusive, and the motives are still shrouded in mystery. The aftermath of Moise's assassination has plunged Haiti into deeper turmoil. The country's already fragile political landscape has been further destabilized and gang violence continues to escalate. The recent indictments have only deepened the political divide and raised serious questions about the integrity of the judicial process. Haiti is in a state of profound crisis. Gangs control large swaths of territory, violence is rampant, and essential services are disrupted. With a non-functional government and postponed elections, a power vacuum has emerged, making it nearly impossible to address the root causes of this chaos. The charges against Martin Moise and others are a pivotal development, but whether they bring us closer to justice or push Haiti further into instability remains to be seen. Stay tuned for more updates on this ever-evolving story. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth coverage on stories that matter. Take care.